Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Baby Scorpio or you guys can call me Leah. And in today's reading, I'm going to do a pick a card reading and this is going to be what is the tea on your glow up. So I'm going to have three piles for you guys. The first pile is going to be Lapis Azuli and it looks like this. And the second pile is going to be Rose Quartz and it looks like this. And the last pile is going to be citrine and it looks like this. So I will have the timestamps down below in the comment section so you guys can check them out from there. Or you guys can choose your pile slash piles in the next clip where I show you guys the piles and you guys can meditate on them. Make sure that you comment down below if this reading resonates with you and like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And let's get it, let's go y'all. So again, pile number one is going to be Lapis Azuli. Pile number two is going to be Rose Quartz right here in the middle. And on the end, pile number three is going to be Citrine. I'm going to give you guys time to meditate. And we're going to get into pile number one. Hey pile number one, welcome to your reading. So before I get into your cards or anything, I'm gonna tell you why you chose this Lapis Lazuli Crystal. So with this crystal, I'm getting that you guys have overcame any shyness and you guys are really stepping into your power. You guys are becoming the person that you guys always dreamed of being. And I feel like you guys are really stepping into this powerful energy okay like you guys are in your era of where you guys are continuously winning and you guys are not really focused on the negative energy you, um, you guys are standing up for yourselves you guys are no longer shy that's what i'm hearing like your glow up is like you guys overcame your shyness um, you guys' glow up was also, um, you going through like a spiritual awakening and you guys like really realizing your worth, okay? So let's get into your cards and see what's the tea on your glow up, okay? I'm going to start off with the overall energy and I use the Moonology deck. So let's see. It says believe in the impossible and it says blue moon. So the color blue could be very significant for you guys. So you guys could have unblocked your throat chakra. So you guys are speaking up for yourself more. You guys are really standing in your power, really believing in yourself. And that's the T on your globe is that you guys are really believing in yourself. You guys are really stepping into your power and doing the things that scare you. Okay, um, you guys are really letting go of your fears and believing in the impossible and that's the tea on your glow up is that you guys are doing the impossible you guys are starting a new business or you guys have already started a new business and it's booming um, you guys are really stepping into this era of where you're like i can do this okay and i feel like you guys are inspiring a lot of people to do the same like you guys have like old classmates that are very inspired by you and very inspired by what you guys do in your daytime okay um you guys could do like something on the internet that inspires a lot of people and like that's the um talk about your glow up is that you guys is like profiles are booming or something like that but i feel like you guys are doing something that is impossible or people believe that it's impossible and you guys are just doing it with ease okay you guys are making things look so easy okay and let's get into your tarot cards so with the moon card, you guys are really showing your true colors. Like it, because it's in reverse, you guys are really showing your true colors. You guys are unleashing a lot of secrets about yourself. You guys are no longer being this like mysterious type of person. Like you guys still have like a little bit of mystery in you, but you guys are really showing your true colors. Um, I feel like a lot of people are showing you their true colors as well as you guys step out of your comfort zone okay um you guys are really unveiling um what you guys like to do in your life i feel like you guys have this 
energy of where you guys are really not playing with your peace and that's the T, okay? You guys are really coming out of your shell and you guys are really coming into this like positive energy, okay? You guys are no longer hiding your shadow side. You guys are, you know, balancing your shadow side so that you can use your shadow side to your advantage. You guys are doing a lot of shadow work and that's the T as well, is that you guys are healing from any difficult situations from your past that's what i'm hearing and with the princess of wands you guys are becoming a free spirit so maybe in the past you guys like were very shy and very in your world like you guys didn't want everybody to know your business but it's like i feel like your business was outed and you were just like yep that's me okay that's what i'm hearing okay so you guys are really stepping into your power you guys are really stepping into this like free flowing energy and you guys are loving life and that's the tea on your love is that you guys are loving life you guys are stepping into this paradise energy okay you guys could be going on vacation a lot and that's the tea um you guys could be looking very good you guys could have had like a body transformation or like your face could have transformed or something like that and when i say face transformed i'm getting that you guys could have like lost weight in your face or you guys could have got you know injections or a facelift something like that you guys could have had surgery okay and people are talking about it people are talking about how you guys are really stepping into your power you guys look good you guys are dressing how you want to dress you guys are very sexy that's what i'm getting that's the seat on your glow up and with the next card i have the justice card so you guys are in this era of where you guys are getting everything that you guys deserve okay you guys are really stepping into your power you guys are really balancing out the scales so if anybody who has done any unjust thing to you in the past they're really getting their karma that's what i'm getting okay and that's the t on your glove is that the more that you glow up the more that these people are getting their karma so i feel like your glow up for some people is their karma so if anybody who has like broken up with you in the past they're really like regretting it and they're really like oh my god like i really wish i would have gave this person a second chance or i really wish that i would have treated this person better and this could be like friendship wise as well so you guys are really in this era of where you guys are living your best life and you guys are not really focused on anybody in the past you're really stepping into your power and you're like you know what i can do this and even if i have to do it by myself i'm gonna do it okay and with the king of cups you guys are emotionally balanced okay you guys know how to express your emotions in like this most healing way and i'm also getting that you know some people might think that you're manipulative but i feel like you guys are really um standing on your you know boundaries okay that's what i'm getting like you guys have uh, emotional boundaries and because you guys didn't have emotional boundaries in the past a lot of people tried to walk all over you and now the t is that you guys don't let anybody walk all over you okay you guys are really stepping into your power i'm also getting that people see you like cooking more or people see you like in your feminine energy more or people feel like you guys are really healing your feminine energy so i'm getting that if your feminine energy was like distorted in the past like you guys really hid your feminine energy or it was hard for you to be in your feminine energy because you felt like you guys had to take care of everything you guys are really relaxing a lot more that's what i'm getting and that's the tea okay and with the six of pentacles i'm getting that you guys are really in harmonious relationships and that's the tea i feel like you guys have you know people wanting to be with you now and be your partner even if it's like financially um so like it could be like business wise i'm also getting that people want to be a part of what you guys are building because you guys are building something that is going to blow up in the next like 10 years okay so you guys are really stepping into this energy of where you guys are bosses and you guys are treating yourself as a boss okay you guys are showing Showing up as the person that you guys want to be every single day and that's the tea 
and with the five of wands i'm getting that you guys have like a lot of competition now and it's because of your globe so you guys are really stepping into this energy of where it's like i know i have competition or I know that people are competing with me, but I'm not really paying attention to that. Like I'm competing with myself. So I feel like you guys are really healing any self-esteem issues. You guys are really working with the person in the mirror and seeing what you guys need to heal and seeing what you guys need to work on as a person. So you guys don't get stuck into this energy of like, um competing with others okay and with the power of love oracle cards i have the card forgiveness so you guys are really forgiving the people that hurt you in the past you guys are not really focused on those people you guys have forgiven them and forgotten about what they've done or if you guys haven't forgotten you guys are definitely not dealing with these people and with the justice card and the forgiveness card I feel like your justice is that you guys are forgiving these people and that you guys are not dealing with these people anymore and you guys are really stepping into your power so i feel like every time that you forgive yourself as well you guys are stepping into your power even more like you guys have like this um energy of relief when you guys forgive yourself so i feel like you guys are working with your inner child to heal any um issues from your past that's what i'm getting okay you guys are also releasing any issues of like um i'm hearing people say like substance abuse so if you guys had like any problems with like drinking or you guys may maybe you guys didn't have like a substance abuse problem or like anything like that but i'm getting that you guys may have like partaken in activities that you guys don't really do now and people are seeing that like people are talking about how you guys don't do the same things that you guys used to do in the past and it's really benefiting you in the present moment okay um with the satisfaction card i'm getting that you guys don't need validation from anybody and that's the tea on you okay you guys are satisfied with your own approval and people really see that people can really feel that energy as well i'm also getting that you guys are not letting people define who you need to be in your present moment and that's the tea so you guys are not looking for validation from other people and that's the t on your globe is that you guys don't really care about you know validation from other people or validation online you guys don't really care about how many likes or views you know your posts get it's like you guys are really focused on building a community okay you guys are really focused on building yourself up building generational wealth that's what i'm getting okay so you guys could be like financially growing um you guys could be like building your financial freedom as well and with the card cause and effect you guys mindset has changed okay like people can see that you guys are now woke or you guys are like really stepping into this power of feeling like you know what i can do anything that i put my mind to okay so again i feel like you guys were really shy in the past or you guys let a lot of people do things before you even though you guys you know had the idea you guys let a lot of people take your idea and like run with it i'm getting that in the past you guys were like followers okay so now that you guys are not followers and now that you guys are the leader you guys are really stepping into that leadership energy and people are really inspired by that okay you know you guys have like some haters that are mad that you guys are stepping into your power the people that are competing with you are mad that you guys have now stepped into your power because they were competing with you even when you guys were a follower okay so now that you guys have like really stepped into your power these people are working like 10 hour shifts just to be where you're at okay so i'm getting that you guys have some people that are competing with how much money you're making these people are trying to get on the level of where your material wealth is and you're just like listen i got this on sale like I i'm getting that you guys work with your money smarter not harder i feel like that's how you conduct your life like you do things smarter not harder so these people that are like working their ass off just to be 
in your shoes or just to be in like just to be like close to you you're just like i know you're fake like i feel like you guys are i feel like you guys can see the bullshit from other people so when it comes to the tea on your glove it's like if anybody who has come to you trying to congratulate you and it's not genuine you can tell and these people are like oh my gosh how does this person know that i'm not trying to be genuine but i feel like it's very obvious that these people are not genuine okay i feel like these people like only want to show you um a certain side to them and because you guys are doing your own shadow work you guys see the bullshit okay like you guys see that these people are either trying to compete with you or you see the bullshit and like what other people are trying to do okay so you see things before they even come that's what i'm getting and that's the tea on your globe is that you guys are really coming into this energy of where you guys are using your intuition okay you guys are fun but you guys don't take any shit that's what i'm getting okay and with the priestess of light oracle cards i have the card power over difficulty and it says reclaiming your power so with this card i'm getting that you guys are really protective over your inner child or your children i'm also getting that you guys are really taking back your power so if anybody who has done you wrong in the past they're really getting their karma by you leveling up like i'm getting that you guys have certain people that are watching you and that are sad over your globe because they can't be in your life it could be like old friends it could be like an old partner uh it could be like old financial partners as well like anybody who has tried to cross you you're taking your power back and you guys are leveling up like times 10 okay um i'm hearing somebody say times 100 so you guys are really stepping into your power you guys are dressing nicer you guys are really showing up in rooms that are going to help Help you level up in places that you guys want to be in okay and I'm also getting that again you guys are really reclaiming your power okay you guys are not taking any shit from anybody you guys are respecting yourself first and anybody who doesn't respect you I'm getting that you're not gonna take it <laughs> like what the hell that's what I'm getting like you guys are the type of person of now you guys are able to stand up for yourself you're able to speak on you know difficult situations now so i feel like you guys are either going to therapy or people believe that you guys are going to therapy i'm getting that you guys are journaling more um i'm getting that people believe that you guys are about to write a book or people feel like you guys should write a book i'm getting that you guys are using your wisdom to your advantage okay so if your spiritual team tells you not to mess with a certain person because they've been talking shit you're not gonna mess with that certain person and i'm getting that spirit shows you why you shouldn't mess with this person as well so it's not just like oh i'm not messing with this person just because you guys are not messing with this person because you guys have seen what this person is doing to your reputation okay so anybody who has tried to ruin your reputation is going through it right now okay they're seeing that you guys' reputation now is 10 times better than what it was in the past okay and the people that have tried to ruin your reputation they're now in the karma of where the reputation that they tried to put on you is now on them that's what i'm getting okay you guys are really showing your true colors and by you showing your true colors other people are seeing the people who have done you wrongs true colors as well that's what i'm getting okay that's the t and you guys are stepping into your courage energy with this courage card it says strength fearlessness and family um you guys could be starting a family or you guys could be like family oriented um i'm also getting that people love your family i'm also getting that people love your eyes you guys have like this utmost energy of courage of where you guys are not afraid to put yourself out there you guys are not afraid to live the life that you guys want to live and people are like oh my god like i never expected this person to do this so i'm getting that your glow up from high school was just like 
bam like that's what i'm getting like people are just talking about it so much like people never expected you out of all people to own your own business or um be at the level you're at right now because i feel like you guys were followers in your past or like you guys never had the courage to you know talk to a lot of people or do whatever you're doing right now you guys could have like a podcast or you guys could be starting a podcast and like people are talking about that or people are talking about how you should start a podcast i'm getting that you guys give really good advice and people are talking about the advice that you give i'm also getting that people are talking about how well you guys are with words okay you guys are really good at speaking and your communication is on point like people always want to talk to you okay and with the next card it says balance it says stability and standing firm so you guys are very balanced type of people okay and people are talking about it people are talking about how balanced you are with your work and home life people are talking about how powerful you are how you know your roots how you guys know how to heal yourself and how stable you are because you guys have healed yourself from the past and with the next card it says angelic assistance it says divine guidance and loving support so people can see that you guys are getting help from your angels your ancestors angels spirit guides deities and divine creator from the highest realms okay and people People see that you guys are not the person to be messed with so again if anybody who has tried to mess with you in the past people are talking about how your glow up is affecting them so bad that these certain people can't even get out of bed okay you guys could be heartbreakers <laughs> that's what I'm getting you guys could be like in this energy of where you know you guys may have been like in this energy of where you guys were very focused on your education when you guys were in school or in college or something like that i'm getting that your glow up started after you graduated a certain place that's what i'm getting and the people that were like bullying you making fun of you or didn't even talk to you or wanted to talk to you like they didn't really see you around a lot or they didn't really get the chance to talk to you because they felt like you guys were like busy i'm getting that these people are like regretting it because now it's like you were busy in the past but like you're busy busy now that's what i'm getting so you guys are really stepping into this energy of where you guys are bosses you guys are very wise um you guys are getting help from your ancestors angels spirit guides deities and divine creator from the highest realms i'm getting that you guys' spiritual team is on point okay they're helping you with this glow up and that's the t okay you guys are getting divine guidance to do whatever you guys are doing okay you guys are in your power you guys are in your purpose you guys are living out your purpose and people are talking about that and with the last two cards i have the card isis it says goddess of magic and love like i said before you guys are getting divine assistance okay you guys are in this loving energy you guys are also creating the life that you guys want to live in your present moment okay you guys are growing things from the ground up and people are talking about it like people are talking about how you guys grew something from the ground up it could have been like your confidence it could have been your love life like maybe your love life was just a flop and now you guys have like suitors all over <laughs> that's what i'm getting or you guys are with somebody who treats you like a queen um, or a king or just an amazing person that's what i'm getting like treats you how you deserve to be treated and with the card bigger picture it says trust the universe to paint the picture so you guys are really trusting the universe and whatever you guys are doing right now like whatever your glow up is you guys really trusted the universe to get to the level that you're at right now and you guys are continuing to do that okay so that was you guys this reading if this reading resonated with you make sure that you comment down below also make sure that you like share and subscribe to my channel and bye y'all
Hey pile number two, welcome to your reading. So before I get into your card or anything, I'm gonna tell you why you chose this rose quartz crystal. So with this crystal, I'm getting that you guys are in your soft era, okay? You guys are not trying to do too much. You guys are just living your life. You guys are exploring a lot. I'm getting that you guys are traveling a lot. I'm also getting that you guys have like this utmost respect for yourself, okay? And people are talking about it, okay? I'm also getting that you guys are eating healthier or you guys just have this like healthy glow to you. You guys are looking beautiful. You guys are looking handsome. I'm getting that you guys are really stepping into your power or you guys have stepped into your power and people are really talking about it. People are talking about how you dress. People are talking about how you guys look 10 times better than how you looked before i'm getting that you guys weren't like ugly or anything that's what i'm getting like if you guys felt ugly you guys no longer feel ugly but i'm getting that you guys weren't ugly you guys just like glue up even more that's what i'm getting so with the overall energy i use the moonology deck and it says adjustments are required and it says third quarter moon so with this card i'm getting that you guys really reconstructed yourself you guys had like a 360 you know glow up <laughs> like nobody in your past really knows who you guys are that's the type of glow up you guys had okay and people are talking about how you know they knew you in the past but they don't know you now or it's like you it's like you say that like people who have known you in the past don't know you now and like you say that and like people are talking about that i'm also getting that you guys have um really changed up your ways like the things you used to do in the past you guys don't do anymore like you really change your mindset and you really change your habits that's what i'm getting like if you guys used to party a lot you guys don't party a lot okay i'm getting that you guys could have had like a child and you guys really glue up from having your child or you guys had a child and you guys look really different like a really good different that's what i'm getting i'm also getting that you guys could be like really softer now like you guys could have been like hardcore of where you guys um were maybe like mean that's what i'm getting like people may have thought you guys were very mean and now you guys are really softer or um you guys are just in this energy of where you guys are very nurturing that's what i'm getting okay and with the tarot cards with the king of swords i'm getting that your mental has really grown okay so you guys could have had like a 360 on how you guys feel about yourself how you guys view life um you guys could have had like a spiritual awakening you guys could have like let go of like people places and things that are no longer serving you and i feel like now you guys really speak your mind um that's what i'm getting now you guys really speak your mind i feel like you guys could have held back on saying a lot of things in the past or you guys could have held back and then blew up on people and that's why people felt like you guys were mean because you guys held in that anger but i feel like you guys really talk about things now like you guys really sit down with people and talk about things as an adult should that's what i'm getting and with the eight of swords in reverse you guys are no longer listening to other people and how they feel about how you should live your life okay i feel like you really change for the better and you guys are no longer looking at limited beliefs like you believe that you can do anything that you guys put your mind to and people are talking about that you guys are really not holding yourself back and you guys are doing everything that everybody told you you couldn't do times 10 okay and people are really talking about it you guys could have moved and people are talking about how they didn't think you would have moved um people are talking about how soon you moved that's what i'm getting like people thought you guys were just kidding around i'm also getting that you guys are the type of people where you guys are like healing from like a heartbreak or like somebody in the past could have like hurt you 
and people are talking about how you glue up from that people are talking about with the three of swords in reverse you guys are no longer heartbroken you guys have removed any pain that you guys may have felt in the past and you guys are really stepping into your power i'm getting that now you're the heartbreaker that's what i'm getting so you guys could have some exes in this energy of feeling like they could have had you but they didn't have the balls to you know actually get you i'm also getting that you guys have this energy of where you guys are so magnetic and people are very attracted to how you look how you talk how you walk um what you do with your life i'm also getting that you guys are the type of people of where you guys are really focused on your mental health okay your wellness how you feel energetically and people are talking about how you guys really you know focus on your health like people are really factuated by your health and like how you change your health for the better and with the two of wands you guys could travel a lot I'm also getting that you guys could have like a sugar daddy. That's what I'm getting. Or people think you guys have a sugar daddy um, because of how much money you guys have. I'm also getting that you guys could have like changed your life for the better. That's what I'm getting. Like you guys could have like a 360 life change. Like if you guys grew up with like not having much, like you guys have a lot now. That's what I'm getting. Like more than you ever thought you would that's what i'm getting like people thought you guys were gonna stay in the same situation as maybe like your parents or maybe like cousins or something like that that's what i'm getting i'm getting that you guys have like family members talking about how you guys no longer talk to them or something like that um because you guys are living the life that you're living now and I'm getting that you guys don't talk to these people because of how they treated you in the past. That's what I'm getting. I feel like you guys are still genuine people and you guys still have people that you guys um, really respect that you guys knew from your past. But you guys are not in this energy of where you guys are going to respect anybody who doesn't deserve your respect. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that you guys are heavy on your respect. Okay. And... As I say that, I have the seven of wands. So again, you guys are heavy on your respect. You guys do not take disrespect well. You guys are very grounded. Um, you guys are very financially well off. That's what I'm getting. Or you guys are getting to that point and people are talking about it. People are talking about how you stand your ground and you guys are not taking anybody's bullshit, okay? So maybe in the past, you guys may have... Um, let a lot of things slide and now you're like nope this is not what we're gonna do and we're gonna talk about it like adults okay so you guys are very in your power okay and with the six of wands you guys could have had like again i'm getting like a 360 glow up like people are talking about how your whole life has changed for the better okay and people are talking about how successful you are um how victorious you are how you like really changed your life how you moved and like everything just came together for you okay like everything just came together for you in your life and people are really talking about it like people are talking about how you guys are just very successful like you guys are like in this energy of where nobody can really say anything about you anybody who has like talked shit about you in the past or like called you mean called you like any type of names that you guys knew you guys weren't you guys really showed these people that you guys were not what they told you you guys were gonna be okay and with the power of love oracle cards i have the card humility so you guys are not the type of people to show off your like material wealth a lot but people know you guys have money okay people know that you guys are very successful i'm getting that you guys don't really show off your successes a lot like you guys like to keep your successes private or you guys like to share them with the people who respect you but i'm getting that you guys 
really are humble about your winnings and humble about like your success because you guys don't like it when people like overdo it okay like you guys are very confident in yourself but you guys don't have to be like um very show-offy that's what i'm getting like i feel like you guys are very self-validated so you guys don't really need to show off a lot of your successes the spirit is saying it's okay to show off your success even if certain people are hating okay spirit is saying like it's okay to be proud of yourself and like want to share it on the internet and that's what spirit is saying like it's okay to want to share your successes on the internet like even if it's like small like spirit is saying like don't allow anybody to like make you come into this humble energy just because of how they feel about certain things in the past or what you didn't have in the past that's what i'm getting okay and with the card freedom i'm getting that again you guys are in this free type of energy you guys could be financially free and people are talking about that people are talking about how you guys buy anything that you guys want that's what i'm getting or you guys have like the newest things the newest technology the newest you know apple watch the new that's what i'm getting like the newest apple watch like people are talking about how you guys have like the newest ipad um the newest camera stuff like that like people are talking about the things that you have and i'm also getting that people are talking about how much freedom you have in your day-to-day -day life like you guys have like time freedom and people are like really talking about how much time you have to um do what you love okay and with the card loyalty I'm getting that you guys are very loyal to whatever you guys put your mind to and yourself and the people around you like people are really talking about how you guys were very loyal to them in the past or now you guys are like in this very loyal energy of where these people that are talking about you they really want to be in your circle that's what I'm getting like they really want to be around you I'm getting it's because they want to go on vacation with you they want to take advice from you like i feel like you have a lot of people looking up to you that's what i'm getting and people are talking about that people are talking about how you have fans or how you guys have grown your business or grown something that's what i'm getting like you guys have like really stepped into this energy of where you guys are the boss okay um that's what i'm getting and with the priestess of light oracle cards i have the card grateful optimism it says joyous views of the future so you guys are in this energy of where you guys are very optimistic and people are talking about that people are talking about how your optimism has gotten you to the places of where you are today and people are talking about how they really want to step into the energy of where you're at okay i feel like again you guys have a lot of people looking up to you and people are talking about that and with the next card i have the card death and rebirth it says darkness to light so again if you guys grew up in a situation that you guys didn't really want to be in or you guys grew up in like um halfway houses that's what i'm getting and you guys are now living like your best life of where you guys don't have to worry about what you're going to eat the next day or you're going to eat today um people are really talking about that people are really talking about how you guys really changed your life for the better and people are talking about how you guys are really stepping into your power how you opened your heart to the things that were meant for you in your present moment and with the card deep emotions it says unknowing feelings and past life influences so i'm getting that you guys are getting the karma that you deserved in your past life so if you guys had like a hard life in the beginning of your life I'm getting that now and until your death you guys are going to be very successful 
and you guys are going to be building generational wealth that's what i'm getting um and i'm also getting that you guys are very mentally strong and because you guys have built up your mental strength you guys have built up your mental strength for the generations that come after you okay and people are talking about that people are talking about how you now wear your crown or how again you guys are very successful how victorious you guys are and with the card summoning power it says instinct intellect and control you guys are now in control of your life and that's what people are talking about people are talking about how you guys use your intuition and people are also talking about how good you guys are with animals like people are talking about how spiritually protected you guys are as well i'm getting that you guys look very good in white and people are talking about that i'm getting that you guys could have like changed your religion as well or you guys could have like renewed your life i'm also getting that you guys are very intelligent and people are talking about how you leveled up on your intelligence as well and i'm also getting that you guys are really stepping into this energy of where you guys feel worthy of the things that you're receiving now like you guys don't have a problem with receiving and i feel like in the past you guys like were in this energy of where you guys didn't feel worthy of receiving because of how you guys grew up but i feel like you guys changed your mindset you guys are really in this energy of where you're like you know what i deserve this okay i deserve to be treated like a genuine person okay i deserve to have certain standards that are going to help me move forward in my present moment and people are talking about that and with the last two cards i have the card spider woman it says she who creates from the central source so you guys are creating from your pain and people are talking about that people are talking about how you're healing your pain people are also talking about how you guys are doing a lot of shadow work you guys are going to like therapy or you guys are really stepping into this energy of where you guys are healing from your past okay you guys are not letting your past hold you back and like people are talking about that people are also talking about how much wisdom you have okay and people really want to get to know you in order to get to this energy of the wisdom you have okay that's what i'm getting like people really want to um get this wisdom from you because they feel like you guys have grown a lot and they really see you as like an inspiration in their life that's what i'm getting and with the last card it says pyrite it says confidence luck and prosperity so i'm getting that you guys are even more confident now and people are talking about that people are also talking about again how much money you make like how much money they see you spending or how much money they think you're spending i'm also getting that you guys have like a lot of people trying to compete with you in how much money you have how much material wealth you have um how much freedom you have that's what i'm getting i'm also getting that people see you as being very lucky or people assume that you're very lucky because of what you guys have done in your life but i feel like it was more so you guys changed your mindset and after you guys changed your mindset things started to flow even better in your life so i feel like you guys are in this energy of where you guys have really changed who you guys were from the inside and out and people are talking about that so that was you guys reading if you guys resonated with this reading make sure that you comment down below also make sure that you like share and subscribe to my channel and bye y'all hey pile number three welcome to your reading so before i get into your card or anything i'm going to tell you why you chose this citrine crystal so with this crystal, I'm getting that you guys are very confident in you guys' self. I'm also getting that you guys have like this utmost respect for yourself as well. I'm also getting that your globe was just very like, boom. Like people never expected your globe to hit that hard, okay? I feel like you guys were like super beautiful like in the past, but you guys were like sexy, beautiful, pretty, smart like you guys this globe was just like whoa it just ate like that's what i'm getting like your globe really ate and if you guys don't know what that means it's more of like 
it really did something like it really made an effect okay um i'm getting that you guys have like some exes that really are you know want to spin the block they, they really want to come back that's what i'm getting i'm getting that you guys have like certain friendships that really want to come back as well because you guys have like this fame or people believe that you guys have fame like people believe that you guys have clout or you guys do have clout that's what i'm getting i'm also getting that you guys know a lot of people and like you guys have like really great connections and that's why a lot of people want to be around you and that's the t okay so let's get into the overall energy i use the moonology deck so let's see I have the card a win-win outcome is forecast and it says full moon in Libra you guys could be a Libra or have Libra in your chart but I'm getting that you guys really stepped into your power okay you guys are balancing out the scales and you guys are starting to win in life okay you guys are no longer taking disrespect you guys are no longer um taking anything that is lower than your standards okay you guys have built your standards so you guys again are very confident in yourself i'm also getting that you guys have like this energy of where um a lot of people are thirsty around you that's what i'm getting or thirsty over you and people are talking about that people are talking about how you guys always win at something like everything that you guys touch is gonna like automatically do well and that's why a lot of people want to be around you and that's what people are talking about how they want to be around you and how they want to like be your friend um do things for you like do nice things for you i'm also getting that you guys are very selective with who you guys are around so you guys may know a lot of people but you guys don't allow a lot of people in your circle that's what i'm getting so a lot of people really want to be in your circle like they really want to be around you because they feel like you guys are gonna make it or you guys have made it that's what i'm getting okay so let's get into your tarot cards I have the card the knight of wands so you guys could be a player or people believe that you guys are a player or the t on you is that you guys are a player but i'm also getting that you guys have took a lot of creative action in your life and because you guys have taken a lot of creative action in your life you guys are very successful and you guys are in this energy of where you guys are no longer scared to be who you guys truly are and that is the t like you guys are no longer scared of living the life that you guys were meant to live and i'm also getting that you guys have like really transformed yourself into a better person okay you guys are not scared to show off your creations and that's what people are talking about and with the tower card people are talking about how you could have had like a falling out with certain people and now you guys are doing so much better like you guys have transformed your foundations and you guys have like really stepped into this power of where you're like okay i gotta start from the ground up okay and if i don't start from the ground up you know I don't know I gotta do something different like I feel like you guys are doing something majorly different from what other people thought you guys were gonna do okay I'm getting that you guys had friends in the past that like tried to treat you guys like you guys weren't gonna do anything with your life or do anything that was like successful so they weren't competing with you but now they are that's what I'm getting okay so Again, you guys could have like a falling out that triggered you into going into this um, confidence energy. That's what I'm getting. Or you guys could have had like a major breakup like with somebody that you guys were with for a very long time. And then you guys were like, you know what? I got to change my life for the better. I got to change how I feel about myself. And I feel like you guys did and people are talking about it. And with the five of pentacles in reverse, I feel like you guys don't stop until you get exactly what you guys deserve. So you guys are in like this perseverance energy and people are talking about that. People are talking about how you guys don't don't lose like losing what lose for what that's what I'm getting like you say like no I don't lose like what is that what is losing losing is me quitting I feel like that's your mindset and people are talking about how your mindset is different from 
how you were in the past and with the magician card i'm getting that you guys are great at manifesting okay you guys are great at creating things from the ground up like from certain ideas that you had in your head and turning them into your reality okay people are talking about how you guys are just doing your thing People are talking about how you guys are worthy of the things that you guys have in your present moment because of the things that happened to you in your past, okay? Again, you guys are creating something from the ground up and people are talking about that and people are talking about how successful it's going to be. People are talking about how successful it is, okay? Um, I'm getting that you guys are very energetic, okay? Like people are talking about how much energy you have to create. People are talking about how consistent you are with your creations as well um i'm getting that you guys are the type of people where you guys focus on the details but you guys are not like perfectionists and people are talking about that like how you guys have like this energy to balance out the scales like people see you as like a very balanced person but you guys have like a really great personality like people are talking about how your personality just like glue up or you guys are just very bubbly and like people love that i'm also getting that you guys are very mysterious as well like you guys have like this bubbly personality but you guys still have like this mysterious side to you that's what i'm getting okay and people are talking about how you guys have like healing hands or like people love that you guys really speak from your heart that's what i'm getting like you guys really speak from the heart you guys really do things from the heart and people are talking about that people are talking about how much power you hold and people are like oh my god like i never thought this person would like really go after their dreams or go after what they wanted to do in life like that's what i'm getting like people never expected you to do what you guys came here to do that's what i'm getting like i'm getting that you guys had like certain people that really wanted to keep you at like a level of where you guys didn't know who you guys were so they always like try to humble you or like always try to like make you feel bad about doing what you guys loved and you guys came into this energy of where you're like okay you know what i'm done with this i'm really gonna step into my power and do what i love because i i can't stop thinking about it like I can't stop doing what I'm meant to do in this lifetime like I literally can't sleep if I'm not doing what I love that's what I'm getting like you guys have like that type of energy and people are talking about that people are talking about how you guys are no longer stubborn with the two of swords in reverse like you guys are very forgiving people like you guys are really not focused on these people that hated you in the past like you guys really forgive them from like the bottom of your heart and you really hope they get help that's what i'm getting and people are talking about that people are talking about how you guys are not selfish at all like people are like you know i treated this person bad and they still help me like these people see you as like an inspiration like th these people that like tried to hurt you in the past like really see you as an inspiration and it really makes them feel bad because they treated you with so much disrespect and you're still a genuine person and that's the t like you're still a genuine person like you're not an asshole like how they treated you in the past is what they're getting right now like they're meeting a lot of people that are assholes they're meeting a lot of people that like scam them out of their money that's what i'm hearing that's the tea on them but we're not talking about that but <laughs> i'm getting that you guys are very genuine people and um you guys don't scam people like you guys don't have to scam people to be successful and people are talking about that people are talking about how you know anything that you say is gonna happen so you guys can be psychic okay anybody anything as i say that i have the high priestess okay anything that you guys say that's gonna happen it happens okay and people are talking about that people are like oh my god so and so said this was gonna happen and it happened like literally two seconds after this person said it it happened and people are like freaked out about that like people are like oh my god like this person like are they looking in my windows like what's going on how 
how did they know this okay but i feel like you guys are very balanced in your psychic abilities okay like you guys don't allow your psychic abilities to take over but you guys are very balanced in using them okay so i feel like you guys use them to heal other people and heal yourself as well as like step into your power okay and with the power of love activation cards i have the card respect a lot of people are talking about how they respect you okay and you guys have like a lot of people respecting you okay and how you respect yourself like you guys don't quit on your dreams and how that's so respectable okay and people are like this person is like on a unique path and anything that i say to this person to like make them try to stop they're not gonna do it like they're not gonna listen because they're already listening to their intuition so these people know that you guys are doing something that is worth doing people can feel your passion towards whatever you're doing in life and people are like oh my god like i i can't even stop this person from doing what they love like and i'm so proud of them for doing what they love and i feel like a lot of people just like really respect you for really stepping out of your comfort zone and doing what you feel like is for your highest good i feel like you guys are making a lot of cash as well like you guys are manifesting a lot of money material wealth um you guys are getting to the point of where you guys love where you guys are at in life and people are talking about that and with the card responsibility it says you are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express so i'm getting that you guys are very responsible with the task that you guys were given in this lifetime and in your life in general like you guys are very responsible people and people are talking about that people are talking about how you get everything that you guys need to do done and then you do 10 times more people are like what the hell <laughs> like how is this person doing this people assume that you guys have superpowers that's what i'm getting like people are like this person has to have a superpower or they're either drinking fucking red bull every single day that's what i'm getting like people assume that you guys people assume that you guys have like a red bull before you guys do anything but i feel like you guys are just like very energetic people or you guys are very motivated towards what you guys are doing so you guys don't really need any energy boost to do anything you guys are just like the type of people of being like you know what this is what i want to do and i'm gonna have the energy to do it okay and with the next card it says virtue and with this card i'm getting that you guys' spiritual abilities is growing okay you guys are stepping into this power of being like you know what i accept my spiritual abilities and because i accept my spiritual abilities i'm gonna use them in a unique way okay i'm gonna get people that don't believe in spirituality to believe in themselves because that's what spirituality is you believing in yourself and you believing in the energy that you were created in okay and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get them to believe in themselves that's what i feel like your mission is and people are talking about your mission like people are talking about um your purpose of you being on earth okay and people are talking about how worthy you guys are of the good things that are happening around you okay and with the priestess of light oracle cards i have the card twin flames it says soul partner and eternal connection so people are talking about the relationship that you guys are in um you guys could have reconnected with who you guys were meant to be in this lifetime as well as a soul partner that's what i'm getting okay and people are talking about that people are talking about how connected you guys are to a certain person and people are like oh my god this person and this person are like the same person like they should be together that's what i'm getting like you guys have like certain people that are watching you and watching how you guys react with a certain person and they're like why doesn't this person just 
be with this person that's what i'm getting like if you guys are not with this person i'm getting like you guys have like a lot of people so happy for you if you guys are in a relationship because they feel like you guys really deserve to be in this relationship especially after a lot of these tower moments in your life that's what i'm getting and with the next card it says earth magic it says fearlessness and removing obstacles so i'm getting that you guys are not scared of a little challenges in your life like you guys are not scared to overcome a lot of obstacles in your life i'm getting that you guys don't let fear hold you back you guys could have scorpio in your chart or you guys could be a scorpio i'm also getting that you guys are in this energy of where you guys are very pure okay and people like are talking about how pure you are because of like the things that you guys do the things that you guys say um how you react to certain situations and people see that you guys are also very calm as well like you guys have like this very passionate energy but you guys also have like this very calming energy as well you guys are very courageous in what you guys are doing because it's very out of the box that's what i'm getting and people are talking about it like people are talking about how what you guys are doing in your life is very out of the box but it's very you and with the card calming waters it says peaceful self-regulation so i'm getting that you guys know how to self-regulate yourself okay uh, you guys are not the type of people where you guys are going to burn out yourself and not have any energy to give to yourself okay so you guys are taking care of yourself and you guys are not allowing anybody to tell you that you guys haven't done uh, enough or you guys haven't done what you guys needed to do i feel like you guys do things in a very balanced way Okay, pile number three. I don't know where I left off because my camera, it couldn't take the tea. Okay, it just turned off because it was too hot. It was too hot, okay? But I was on the card calming waters and it says peaceful regulation. So you guys know how to self-regulate. You guys know how to step into your power. You guys are really in this energy of being who you guys truly want to be. And you guys are the type of people where um if you guys need to take a break from doing something you guys are going to take that break okay i'm getting that you guys take naps <laughs> and you guys are not afraid to take a nap and then after you guys take a nap you guys are still going to be productive okay i feel like you guys are very productive people and with the next card it says innovation it says new creations so i feel like you guys are in this energy of where you guys are creating something new you guys are really stepping into your power and loving who you guys truly are as a person and that's the tea on you okay i feel like you guys are really stepping into your innovation energy like you guys are really doing something that is you know not the normal and people are like oh my god like this person is like very unique like this person is like stepping into their uniqueness like i love that for them okay um i feel like you guys have like a lot of people cheering you on because you're doing something that inspires them or motivates them to do better in their life and i also feel like you guys are just creating something from your mind okay like these ideas are not something that you see every single day like you don't see everybody doing what you guys are doing right now so i feel like you guys are trendsetters that's what i'm getting and with the last two cards i have the card first quarter and it says take action so you guys are not afraid to take action and that's the t on you and that's the t on your glove you guys are not afraid to do something different step into your power and really create the life that you guys were meant to live in your present moment and people are talking about that people are talking about how with the card ishtar it says goddess of love passion war and justice how passionate you guys are to create the life that you guys want in your present moment i feel like you guys are living your dream life and people are talking about how you guys are living your life to the fullest okay and also with this card i'm getting that you guys are not afraid of stepping out of your comfort zone you guys are not afraid of you know confrontation if you guys need 
to tell some people off you guys are going to tell some people off that's what i'm getting so you guys are not afraid to speak your mind and people are talking about that people are talking about how much justice you guys are getting in your present moment because of what happened to you in your past with the tower card like i'm feeling like something happened that was like really big you guys never thought you guys would move past this situation in the way that you guys did but it's like you move past it forgot about it and people are like what the hell how did this person even do it like i feel like that's why people are like watching you and that's the tea on you like people are watching you and trying to see how you manage to get this glow up and how perfect like you are as a person like people view you as being like the perfect person okay so that was you guys this reading make sure that you comment down below if this reading resonated with you also make sure that you like share and subscribe to my channel and bye y'all